Hello, teacher. Hello, Sang. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? And I, I'm good too. Thanks for asking. And how did your day go? Today is good. Okay, good. So what did you do today? Um, I uh, do a science test. Oh, a science test. And how was it? Um, um, it's good. Good. <laughs> okay. Okay, good. So, um, can you remember the topic? Last week's topic, can you remember what we talked about? Uh, uh, no. <laughs> okay, we talked about what jobs, different kinds of jobs, where we talked about um, the Lego sculptor, um, the bed tester. Can you remember? Can you remember, Sunk? Yes. Okay. So today we're going to we're going to be talking about jobs, choosing jobs, choosing a new job. I'm going to share my screen with you. So tell me where you see it. Okay. Okay. So can you see my screen? Uh, yes. Oh, okay. Good. So speaking, we're going to be speaking more today. Choosing a job choosing a job so this is what we're going to be talking about choosing a job so how to choose a job how to choose different kind of um, different kinds of holiday jobs so how to choose a job okay so now look at this says assistant can you please read this Sunk? um so a sales assistant who needs to for busy uh, close close shop uh what what is it? so hours hours teacher okay. i can i can't see it can you see it now uh hours uh from 9 a.m to 5 uh 5 30 a.m a p.m uh from Monday to Saturday, Saturday, and um, six six pound fifty an hour. Okay, six point fifty pounds. Pounds. So when you see this, this is what pounds. When you see the sign, pounds. Six point fifty pounds. 6.50 pounds an hour. So, um, Sang, so what is this? What do you think this is? What do you think this is? What do you hmm. think this is? Hmm. Uh, I think it is a denom denomination. Okay, so um, when you see this, this is what a job advert, a job advert. Okay. Okay. So let me write it here. So this is what a job, a job ad, a job advertisement, a job advertisement. Okay. So this is what a job, a job advertisement. So okay, yeah. So now fruit speakers, fruit speakers needed. Get out of the fresh air and come and pick strawberries. The more you pick, the more you earn. You can earn up to three hundred pounds a week if you work really hard. Hours eight a.m. to four p.m. So this is what this is what another job, another job advertisement, and we have the dishwasher. So, Sam, please, can you read this? The dishwasher. Dishwasher need to join the friendly team in our restaurant kitchen. It's eight pounds for an hour, and eleven a.m. to uh, four p.m. and seven p.m. to uh, eleven p.m. 
to 11 p.m. So these are what different types of jobs, different types of jobs. So the first one says assistant, the second one fruit pickers, and the third ish washer. And we can see the times and the money that you're going to be, um, the amount you're going to get paid is on the job advert. Okay, so Sam, please, I want you to match job adverts one to three with peak photos A to C. Okay. Um, so A? The first one, uh, A, I, I will match with um, um, two fruit pickers. Oh, fruit pickers. Good job. Very good. You're correct. And B? I will match it with um, dishwasher. Dishwasher. Good job. And the last one? C? Um, sales assistant. Sales assistant. Good job. Very good. Good job. Okay, so now this is what vocabulary, new words. So now check the meaning of the words below then discuss question one to two in pairs so now let's look at this personal qualities enthusiastic so Sang, what do you think enthusiastic means enthusiastic what do you think it means i don't know okay so do you have do you have your dictionary there no okay do you have do you have a dictionary on your phone um, no. Okay, so let me tell you the meaning of enthusiastic. So enthusiastic means. So when you hear the word enthusiastic, so enthusiastic means. Hold on a bit. So enthusiastic word describes somebody, someone who has word, who shows strong excitement, interest or passion about something. Okay. Okay. So enthusiastic means when you show what strong interest or passion about something. Let me, let me type it here. Nhiệt tình có nghĩa là khi bạn thể hiện sự quan tâm hoặc đam mê mạnh mẽ về. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so that is what enthusiastic means. So, um, um, Sang, what are you enthusiastic about? What are you enthusiastic about? What are you interested in? What is your... What are you enthusiastic about? Um, mm, uh, I don't know. <laughs> so, oh, okay, what are you passionate about? What do you love? What do you love doing? Hmm, I think I love playing badminton. Oh, playing badminton? Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, so what about flexible? Sang flexible. What do you think it means? Flexible. Flexible. I think it is um, the ability to adapt um, to uh, life and work in the face of change. Good. Very good. So that is what it means. Um, it means the, the ability for you to be able to blend and for you to adapt. The ability for you to blend and adapt to things. So that is what flexible means. Good job. Very good, Sang. So what about friendly? Friendly. Um, I um uh, is um, are we um 
uh, we are. Uh, I I I understand, but I. <laughs> okay <laughs> okay <laughs> it's fine so now friendly means somebody that that is what a person a person let's look at this a person that is sociable okay hòa đồng so a person that is what sociable that is kind hearted okay that is kind hearted okay that okay. is approachable when you're approachable a person that is sociable and approachable một người hòa đồng và dễ gần okay Okay. Good. So what about um good at communicating? Good at I communicating. I think it is the person um can talk to everyone is uh, so good. Okay, good. You have a point. You're correct. Somebody that is word good at talking to people. That is good at word talking to people, communicating to people. Good job. So what about um Let's look at this. So what about hard working? Hard working. I think it is the person uh, work um, every everywhere. A person that works everywhere? No, uh, the person uh, work everywhere, every time. Every time. Somebody that is what hard working, that works that is very worth hard working. Somebody that is very hard working. Okay, okay, good job. So now mm, let's look at this the, and the last one. Honest. Oh, honest. honest. Honest, I think it's the it is the person um always uh uh talk talk um uh, I think is the person um, uh, always, yeah, always tell the truth. Yeah, somebody that is honest, somebody that somebody that tells the truth, somebody that tells the truth. So what about patient? Patient. I, I don't know this word, teacher. Okay, you don't know the word. Okay, don't worry. Yeah. It's fine. It's fine. So when you hear the word patient, is the ability to word. The word patient means word the ability to to be calm. When you're calm, when you're tolerant. Okay. Okay. So when you're calm, when you're tolerant. So that means you are what patient. When a person. teacher it's calm and tolerant okay the person khi một người bình tĩnh và khoan dung người đó kiên nhẫn okay Good. Okay. So when we say um physically um physically fit, what does it mean? Physically fit. I what does it mean? Um, the the person very strong. Okay, very strong. The person is healthy. Is healthy physically. The person is very it, um has a lot of strength. Can move things. The person what is healthy. So that is what it means. Words to be physically fit. So what about reliable? I don't know, teacher. Okay, so reliable means what? Reliable means what? Somebody that is what? Dependable. Somebody you can what? Somebody that can be trusted. Okay, somebody that is dependable. Okay? Okay. Now, like, let's say, for example, um, you want somebody to 
just um, quickly get something for you because you're sick or because you will not be available. So anybody that comes to your mind, anybody that you can call and the person can pick up and help you out, that means the person is worth dependable. Okay? Okay. Good job. So now, um, Sang, I want you to look at this and tell me, um, look at this, in your opinion, in your opinion, um, which three qualities are generally most important at work? So tell me, which three, which three qualities are generally most important at work? I think, um, in any job, it's important to be uh, hardworking and honest. Hardworking, honest. So what about the last one? Three qualities. Um, and um, real, uh, um, patient. And? Patient. Pa oh, patient. 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 Okay, so now, why do you why do you think you need these qualities? Why do you think you need to be patient? Because um, um, if we don't be a uh, pa patient, uh, we will easy to uh, be angry and easy to uh, uh, get out of the. Company. Okay, if we're not patient, we'll get easily angry, then we'll get out of the complaint. Okay, so you said patience. What other qualities did you mention? What teacher? So, what other qualities do you need? What? What other qualities do you need? Do you mm. need what other three qualities? What is quality? Okay, qualities, attributes, let's say. Qualities, personal qualities. Look at this, characteristics. Character, look at this. These are what qualities. So now, they said in your opinion, which three qualities are generally most important at work? Hmm. Can you speak again? Okay, so in your opinion. Chất lượng. In your opinion, which three qualities are important at work? Mm, um, uh... Um, uh, hardworking, uh, honest, patient. Okay, honest, hardworking, patient. Okay, so now look at this. I want you to, to um, choose one quality that you think is the most important for each job. Give reasons for your opinion. So look at the jobs. So tell me one quality that is important for a fruit keeper. What quality do you think is important for a fruit keeper to have? A fruit, ki a fruit picker. Um, hmm. um, it's hard. Um, <laughs> Just think, it's not hard, okay? Don't worry, just think about it. Think. I think um, they need to be flexible. Okay, flexible. So why do you think they need to be flexible? Because they, um, they uh, need to um, do quickly. Hmm. Okay, so what about for a uh, dishwasher? Um, can I see again the um, okay. personally uh, quality? Okay, the personal qualities. 
Mm. I think um, they uh, need to work. Reliable. Oh, reliable. So why do you think so? Because um, um, they, uh, if uh, they um, not reliable, uh, the, 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 the manager will get out. They, yeah. they, what is your Come again. Because, um, for example, um, uh, they, they, uh, don't, they, uh, mustn't broke the, mustn't broke the dishes. Okay, they mustn't break the dishes. They mustn't break the dishes. Okay, um, so what about, uh, So what about a sales assistant? A sales assistant. So what qualities do you think a sales assistant need? Uh, they need to uh, be good at communicating. Okay, good at communicating. Yes. Okay, good at communicating. Okay, good job. So for me, I think um, what's more important for a sales assistant is to be, um, you're good at communicating. You have to be good at communicating. For um, for fruit picker, you have to be, for me, you have to be physically fit. You have to be physically fit. A sales assistant needs to be friendly. You need to be friendly so the people can what patronize. People can buy um, from the shop. Okay. Okay. Okay, good, good. So now we're going to listen to an audio. So read the text, then listen to a conversation between a candidate and the examiner. Answer the question. So now look at the question. You want to get a holiday job in order to save some money. Discuss the three job adverts with a member of staff at a job agency. Decide which job you would like to do and why. Okay, so we're going to listen to an audio now. Make sure you pay attention, okay? Okay. Good. Lesson 5G, exercises 3 and 4. We have three jobs available this summer. Have you had a chance to look at them? Yes, I have. Good. So, what about the job of fruit picker? I'm not sure about that one. Although it's well paid, it will be very tiring. You have to work all day in the fields. Not only that, but... But it might be rainy and windy too, so you'll get very wet and cold. But you can't stop working. Some people like the idea of being outside in the fresh air all day. Oh. I know, but I prefer working inside. Can you hear me? That's fine. Well, what about the job of sales assistant? Yes, I quite like the look of that one. Why is that? Well, can you hear? Um, I can't. I can't hear it clearly. Okay, I'm coming. I 
I'm very keen on lesson 5G. Exercises 3 and 4. It's now. Sang, can you hear it now? No. Okay. So, we have three jobs available this summer. Have you had a chance to look? Sang? Yes, but it's not good. It's, um, I can hear it clearly. Okay, hold on a bit. Hold on a bit. Lesson 5G. Exercises 3. Three jobs available this summer. Have you had a chance to look at them? Yes. Yes, I have. Good. So, what about the job? The song is it clear now? No, it's well, lucky. It's lagging. Uh, could you? Could you probably check in that Teacher. Okay, so can you hear me, Sang? Yes. Okay, so can you hear? I'm going to play the audio now. Lesson 5G, exercises 3 and 4. So, we have three jobs available this summer. Have you had a chance to look at them? Yes, I have. Good. So, what about the job of fruit picker? I'm not sure about that one. Although it's well paid, it will be very tiring. You have to work all day in the fields. Not only that, but it might be rainy and windy too, so you'll get very wet and cold, but you can't stop working. Some people like the idea of being outside in the fresh air all day. I know, but I prefer working inside. That's fine. Well, what about the job of sales assistant? Yes, I quite like the look of that one. Why is that? Well, I'm very keen on fashion, so I'll find it interesting to work in a clothes shop. I'm sure I'll enjoy it, even though the hours are long. And the money isn't great. What about this third job, dishwasher? It's better paid than the sales assistant, and it says you'll be part of a friendly team. Hmm. Yes, I like the idea of being part of a team, but I don't think washing up in a restaurant kitchen will be very rewarding. It will be really repetitive. Yes, I see what you mean. But at least it's indoors, not outdoors. True. But kitchens are usually very hot. It won't be a very nice place to work. 
And I'll find the work stressful too, because people shout a lot in restaurant kitchens. So which job do you want to apply for? Are you able to decide now? Hmm. Well, I'm not choosing fruit picking. That's really hard work and I'm not very physically fit. I won't apply for the job of dishwasher either. The job is quite well paid. However, I really don't want to work in a kitchen. So, I'd like to apply for the job of sales assistant. The pay is not very good. Nevertheless, I'm choosing this job because I'm interested in fashion. Okay, Sang. So, let's listen again, okay? Okay. And make sure you pay attention. Lesson 5G, exercises 3 and 4. So, we have three jobs available this summer. Have you had a chance to look at them? Yes, I have. Good. So, what about the job of fruit picker? I'm not sure about that one. Although it's well paid, it will be very tiring. You have to work all day in the fields. Not only that, but it might be rainy and windy too, so you'll get very wet and cold, but you can't stop working. Some people like the idea of being outside in the fresh air all day. I know, but I prefer working inside. That's fine. Well, what about the job of sales assistant? Yes, I quite like the look of that one. Why is that? Well, I'm very keen on fashion, so I'll find it interesting to work in a clothes shop. I'm sure I'll enjoy it, even though the hours are long, and the money isn't great. What about this third job, dishwasher? It's better paid than the sales assistant, and it says you'll be part of a friendly team. Hmm. Yes, I like the idea of being part of a team, but I don't think washing up in a restaurant kitchen will be very rewarding. It will be really repetitive. Yes, I see what you mean. But at least it's indoors, not outdoors. True, but kitchens are usually very hot. It won't be a very nice place to work. And I'll find the work stressful too, because people shout a lot in restaurant kitchens. So which job do you want to apply for? Are you able to decide now? Hmm. Well, I'm not choosing fruit picking. That's really hard work and I'm not very physically fit. I won't apply for the job of dishwasher either. The job is quite well paid. However, I really don't want to work in a kitchen. So, I'd like to apply for the job of sales assistant. The pay is not very good. Nevertheless, I'm choosing this job because I'm interested in fashion. Okay. Song? Song? Okay. Should we listen to the audio again? Yes. Okay. So we're going to listen to the audio one more time. And after that, we're going to answer the questions, okay? Okay. So make sure you words pay attention, okay? Okay. Good. Lesson 5G, exercises 3 and 4. So we have three jobs available this summer. Have you had a chance to look at them? Yes, I have. Good. So, what about the job of fruit picker? I'm not sure about that one. Although it's well paid, it will be very tiring. You have to work all day in the fields. Not only that, but it might be rainy and windy too, so you'll get very wet and cold, but you can't stop working. Some people like the idea of being outside in the fresh air all day. I know, but I prefer working inside. That's fine. Well, what about the job of sales assistant? Yes, I quite like the look of that one. 
Why is that? Well, I'm very keen on fashion, so I'll find it interesting to work in a clothes shop. I'm sure I'll enjoy it, even though the hours are long, and the money isn't great. What about this third job, dishwasher? It's better paid than the sales assistant, and it says you'll be part of a friendly team. Hmm. Yes, I like the idea of being part of a team, but I don't think washing up in a restaurant kitchen will be very rewarding. It will be really repetitive. Yes, I see what you mean. But at least it's indoors, not outdoors. True, but kitchens are usually very hot. It won't be a very nice place to work. And I'll find the work stressful too, because people shout a lot in restaurant kitchens. So which job do you want to apply for? Are you able to decide now? Hmm. Well, I'm not choosing fruit picking. That's really hard work and I'm not very physically fit. I won't apply for the job of dishwasher either. The job is quite well paid. However, I really don't want to work in a kitchen. So, I'd like to apply for the job of sales assistant. The pay is not very good. Nevertheless, I'm choosing this job because I'm interested in fashion. Okay, so now, Sang, are you ready to answer the questions? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God! Why you sound you sounded mm, not sure, not sure yet. <laughs> okay, let's just just give it a try. Let's give it a try. Mm. So, what job does the candidate choose? What? What job does the candidate choose? What job did she choose? Um, uh, sales assistant. Oh, sales assistant, good. So now, what is our reason for choosing the job? What is our reason for choosing the job? Oh, uh, uh, she, uh, she, because she inter interested in it. Okay, because she is interested in the job, she is passionate about it. She likes talking to people. So now. Um, the last one. Um, what are our main reasons for not choosing the other jobs? Why didn't she choose the other jobs? Um, well, because uh, they uh, she don't choose uh, fruit pickers because uh, um, it's uh, she don't like to uh, um, she don't like working uh outdoors. Okay. Yeah. Okay, she doesn't like working outdoors. So what about dishwasher? Because dishwasher is dirty. Because? Uh, dishwasher is dirty. Right? No. <laughs> no. I can't, I can't, I can't hear it. <laughs> No, no. Okay, so she chose she chose dishwasher because no, she did she said she was not going to pick dishwashing because she is not physically fit. Okay? Oh, okay. She, yeah, she is not physically fit. So that is why she, she that is why she did not choose the job. Okay, so now let's scroll down and look. Hmm. So speaking strategy, when you discuss a topic and give you give what's your reasons, try to include some complex sentences. For example, you can make use of words like although, even though, nevertheless, and however, okay? Okay just to make um, contrast, just to make contrast. So now, hmm, look at this listening to um, this audio again. Listen again, complete the phrases using the words below. Complete the phrases using the words below, okay? 
Okay. So now let's listen to the audio again. Pay attention. Lesson 5G, exercises 3 and 4. So, we have three jobs available this summer. Have you had a chance to look at them? Yes, I have. Good. So, what about the job of fruit picker? I'm not sure about that one. Although it's well paid, it will be very tiring. You have to work all day in the fields. Not only that, but it might be rainy and windy too, so you'll get very wet and cold, but you can't stop working. Some people like the idea of being outside in the fresh air all day. I know, but I prefer working inside. That's fine. Well, what about the job of sales assistant? Yes, I quite like the look of that one. Why is that? Well... I'm very keen on fashion, so I'll find it interesting to work in a clothes shop. I'm sure I'll enjoy it, even though the hours are long, and the money isn't great. What about this third job, dishwasher? It's better paid than the sales assistant, and it says you'll be part of a friendly team. Hmm. Yes, I like the idea of being part of a team, but... I don't think washing up in a restaurant kitchen will be very rewarding. It will be really repetitive. Yes, I see what you mean. But at least it's indoors, not outdoors. True. But kitchens are usually very hot. It won't be a very nice place to work. And I'll find the work stressful too, because people shout a lot in restaurant kitchens. So which job do you want to apply for? Are you able to decide now? Hmm. Well, I'm not choosing fruit picking. That's really hard work and I'm not very physically fit. I won't apply for the job of dishwasher either. The job is quite well paid. However, I really don't want to work in a kitchen. So, I'd like to apply for the job of sales assistant. The pay is not very good. Nevertheless, I'm choosing this job because I'm interested in fashion. Okay, so, so should we listen again? Um, no, no. Okay. So, your answers. Number one, read and answer. Uh, number one, all thought is Terry. Shall we? Terry. Hmm, I'll come in. Although it's tiring, tiring. Yes. Okay, let's, it, although it's tiring. Okay, it will. It will be very, um, um uh it will be um um well paid uh oh okay that's that's too long so let's just leave it like this i'm sure okay read please can you please read this i'm, I'm sure, sure i'll enjoy it even thought the um the um um Kitchen. Okay. Oh, no, even thought the. Uh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> even though the hours, even though the hours, hours. How long? 
good along. So the job? The job is quite, quite, um, um, uh, uh, well paid. Okay, well paid. However, um, however, I really don't want to work in a kitchen. Okay, I really, really, I really don't want to work in a kitchen. The, the pay, the pay is not very good. Never, never last. I am choosing. Good job. I'm choosing. I'm choosing. I'm choosing the job because I'm interested in fashion. I'm choosing the job because I'm interested in fashion. Good job. So now we often use find. So we often use find plus now plus adjective toward an infinitive to talk about personal reaction. For example, um, Sang, look at this. I, I will find the job stressful. So stressful here is what adjective and job here is what the now. Okay, so I'll find the job stressful. I find it difficult to concentrate. I find it difficult to concentrate. So now, now, um, I want you to read the lookout box. Now let's walk in pairs and say which job in exercise one. Um, say which job in exercise one, exercise one you're going to choose and why. So now look at this job. Let's look at this. So now, which job in exercise one are you going to choose? Song, which job? Mm -hmm. Um, I will choose, uh, um, dishwasher. Okay, dishwasher. Why? Because, um, I, I try to, uh, I try to, um, uh, uh, wash the dishes before. Mm, at I, home? Yes. That you know, that's different because in if you want to work in a restaurant, you're going to be watching lots of dishes. Can you wash, yes. let's say, five hundred dishes per day? Yes, yes, I know that, but um, I think it's easy. Oh, you think it's easy? So you're going to go for, <laughs> so you're going to be a dishwasher. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. If you say so, if you say so, dishwasher. Okay, so now um, let's look at this. So what about um, working purse and turn to turn to page one to um, 142 and do the extra speaking talks. So 142, 142, do the extra speaking talks. Okay, let's look at this, 142. Okay, so now... Um, Sang, I want you to look at this photo A and photo B. Describe what you see. Describe what you see in photo A and photo B. Uh, in photo A, they are uh, throw, throwing the snow. Okay, throwing the snow. Okay, so in photo B. Um, oh, I think it is, hmm, <laughs> uh, 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 um, I think it is, um, traffic jam. Okay, traffic jam. Hmm, good, traffic jam. Okay, so what about um, photo A and B? Photo A and B here. Photo A, I think he is practice 
playing the violin. He is um, practicing. Um, the man is teaching him how to play violin, the violin. Okay. Okay. So photo B. Um, the photo B is the man um, teach uh, the kids how to swim. Okay, so the man is teaching the kids how to swim. The man is teaching the kids how to swim, okay? Okay. Good job. <laughs> Good job. Okay, so I wanted to look at this. Um, um, okay. So how do they feel in photo A? How are they feeling? Happy or sad? How are they feeling? They feel um, happy, excited. Oh, they feel happy, they feel excited. Okay, they feel happy, they feel excited. Okay, so now, hmm. Okay, good job. So let's go back to the lesson. Come in. Okay, so let's go back to the lesson. Okay, so good job, good job today, Sang. Good job today. Good job today. You did so well today. So now, Sang, let's do a revision. <laughs> you did so well today, Sang. So now, what when you hear the word et, um, enthusiastic, what does it mean? Enthusiastic. What does it mean? Enthusiastic. Uh, um uh it's um wait uh, uh what's what uh why i i i uh, <laughs> got it um oh of the of the siastic uh mm, um is um oh i remember it but I, okay I, I forgot how to explain it okay you you've forgotten how to say it okay yeah. um when you're passionate when you're enthusiastic when you're passionate about something when you're excited about something uh, okay. Uh, okay yeah so that is what so okay um so what about grab um what about honest Honest is truthful. Okay, truthful. So what about hard working? It's um the is do uh, work everywhere every time. Okay, work everywhere, work all the time. <laughs> okay. Um what about um let's say, let's see, let's see, let's say what about Reliable. Mm. Uh, reliable. It's mm, uh, we can trust in some some people. Okay, when you can trust somebody, when you can trust somebody. So, what about physically fit? What did you? What about physically uh, fit? It's uh, the person very strong. Okay, very strong. So what about um patient, patient? Patient, patient, it's um 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 uh, that person can wait, wait, uh, 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 wait. Um, I forget. I forget. Okay, patient. The person word is calm. The person is calm. Oh, calm. When okay. you're calm, when you're patient, you're calm. So, what about um, good at communicating? Good at uh, communicating. Uh, uh, the their their uh, communicate uh, skill is good. 
is good can easily what they can talk to people they can talk to people communicate with people so what about friendly mm, it's uh, outgoing okay easy going people can relate with you so that is what it means to be what friendly friendly good job okay okay good job today good job today so we have come to the end of the lesson for today you did so well today you did so well today okay so song do you have any question for me do you have any question no no sure. okay okay song so goodbye for now goodbye song Goodbye, teacher. See you Goodbye. Again. See you again. Goodbye. Have a great day. Have a great night. Goodbye, okay. Sank. Good night, teacher. Goodbye. <laughs> Good night. <laughs>